Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're going into part two of today's episode of Roleplay Nebula Jazz. I'm just I'm kicking everybody's ass today, but we'll see. Maybe maybe Rex maybe Rex has it in for me. Though Sam, all of your fate point assistance to Basil may have may have hindered you. We'll see how it goes. I want him to win so bad. I know. <laughs> Thank you. You tried. I know you did. I, I believe in you. Um, however, so Luna, when when the when the Emperor when Emperor Darkthrone ran off, did you? follow or where where did you go because last thing we saw was you being like use the ball dummy um is everyone just sort of rushing in that direction now it's yeah it's like sci-fi spaceship chaos where like if, probably <laughs> if you stand if you stand around for too long somebody will be like hey you there come with me but but mostly they're like oh there's intruders and shit's happening and it's dark throne doesn't wear, really keep, doesn't I know they look, a very clear ship do they have like do any of them have like uniforms of some sort? Uh, yes, they do. They do indeed. We describe them as being like, kind of like leather, like underpants, and like a kind of like Rob Halford harness thing, and then like, oh god, like a leather hat. I was gonna get in disguise, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that anymore. You got this. <laughs> Do are any of them female? <laughs> yeah, that are, are dressed up like totally. Yeah, of course. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. And that wear masks. Masks. They all yes, they all have masks. Okay, I would like to find the locker room and try to disguise myself as one of them. Okay. All right. Uh, let's let's have you make a clever roll. Um, <laughs> and I think you're you're creating an aspect. I think this is a difficulty difficulty two. Uh, and yeah, you just duck into a room labeled uniform storage. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see if you can find one that fits. Yay. Yeah. All right. Oh, so this, I know exactly what I'm going to call no, this one. It, what happens is I stumble into this room and it says boys and girls. So I go into the girls and it's literally just like two lockers where the boys is like 50. <laughs> So. Yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of leather leather clad dudes on this <laughs> uniforms. They really say daddy likes leather. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You uh, you 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 duck in, and what is your what does your outfit look like now when you come out? Well, if you've ever played the game Mad Max or watched a Mad Max film, uh -huh. I think I come out and I have like bandage wrapped around. Um, and it's dirty. Whoever was wearing this before me is dirty. And I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like, right? Like, yeah, it, it's clean, like, this... but it looks that way. And I'm just like, this is so, this is just not sanitary. I don't know. Okay. 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 Um, and then I have on like, like really, really tiny leather pants and they're just like, really, I'm really uncomfortable, but they're, and, <laughs> but they're like, they fit almost perfectly. So whoever yeah. wore them is like my size. And then it has the, the, the gun casings. The, the bullet casings as yeah. a belt. Nice. Uh, and then just too many belts. There's just belts everywhere. And I don't even, like, have them don't function. And I don't even know if I have them on right. Because it's just like, where is this one? I don't understand. Yeah. So and you I just come out. And shoulder pads. And, covered and in belts and leather. And, yeah. And you have your and cool just a giant, mask. like, mask that has spikes on it. And it's just. It's, <laughs> you I look just, like a post-apocalyptic hot topic. It pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You pretty fit much. right in. You fit right in. Um. Yeah, so you you have the aspect hell bent for leather now, and uh, someone runs up to you, uh, and uh, and he says, "What are you doing standing around here?" And he points down the hall. He's like, "Didn't you hear? There's intruders on the ship." <clears throat> I'm like, "Intruders? Where?" And I get like a really deep voice. <laughs> yeah, right. And they they look at each other and they're like, "Uh, I don't know, just somewhere. We just." And like well, you can see, all the guards are just kind of running around, and no one seems to be going anywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> "Well, you should find them. I'm ready to kick some ass." And I like <laughs> pound my fist. <laughs> like, Hell yeah! And like punches you in the shoulder. Like, let's kick ass. And they grab you, and then they're like, "Let's go!" And they run. You run off to go find someone's ass to kick. There you go. But you, yes, you blend in with the with the crowd. Okay. So um, the first the first person to the computer core uh, is. Um, uh, is Artemis. Now, do you want to try to get it, get there ahead of them, or do you want to show up with these three? Because uh, they were the guards you were following. Right. I... Mm, I 
Yeah, I want to try to use the chaos on the ship to somehow, like, sneak past them. Okay. Yeah, let's just do an opposed quick roll. Okay. And if you win, you get there before they do, and you have a minute with Basil's smoldering okay. flesh. I bite. won. Yeah, you do. Um, okay. So we cut back to computer core. Uh, right. And, and Basil, um, you've just you've just lost Penny. Uh, what does what does uh, Artemis see when she comes in? I am uh, just sitting, staring at a computer screen. Okay, all right. So we just see your back and the screen, and the screen. The screen is there anything on it? Like it's it was blank when you got locked out of the system. It is just a blank screen. It's okay. just a blank. You can kind of see the reflection of. Basil in the screen, but that's pretty much what. And you're not you're not moving or doing just like sitting in the chair, staring at the screen. Yep. Okay, so Artemis, what do you do? That's what you see. Uh, I um, I guess I come in and like look around and and spot him and uh, like what are you doing? Everybody is gonna be here in just a second. We have to go. And I try to like, I try to like grab him to pull him away. Uh, you turn around the seat and you see uh. For the first time, what actually just looks like a uh, like just a vacant eyed sex bot, right? Elven sex bot. Elven vacant eyed elven sex bot. But it doesn't <laughs> right. appear. Also, there's, any, also like, there's no there's no reason to like uh, the the if you want to go back to being Mel Gibson sex bot, like the potion or whatever could have like its effects could have faded. If you want to, oh no, make she it. didn't potion me. She literally like she reconstructed me. him. That's right. Yes, yeah. That's right. So yes. I'm perm I'm permanently. This weird, terrible yeah. elf. But right. whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah, it's, my... like, it's like turning. It's like turning around, and there's like a blow-up doll version of it. Like he's just sitting right. there, kind of like, <laughs> yeah, rubbery <laughs> skin, eyes, just like a gap. Yeah. I guess I'll try to get him to respond. <laughs> just like Basil, Basil. Like try to see if there's anything in there. Um, I the I look up. My eyes sort of just look up at you. I'm like, I'm here. Okay, we we need we need to leave. There are alarms going off everywhere. I can hear them. <sighs> okay, come on. I try to like I try to like pull him up out of the chair. I am surprisingly lightweight. <laughs> like just carbon fiber and shit. Just like, sure, all right. Yeah, you just like pull me up out of the chair. Ever, I mean, Artemis, have you ever touched Basil before? No. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, he feels real like fake, right? Like he, you, you touch sure. him and it's like he's he's meant to feel like real, right? But it does, it doesn't. And Luna's not great at making these sorts. So it's like you pick him up. Yeah. And like, mm. The whole point uh, was to build him in the likeness of myself. Thank you. Sure. Of course. <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So I like start to pick you up. I'm like, oh, oh God, you're like really light. And I just kind of piggyback you and try to see if there's somewhere that I can hide the both of us before everybody gets there or okay. or try to like sneak out. So, yeah, I was going to say before, I think before you have a chance to do that, you have to deal with the three guards that just arrive at the door. So when you pick them up, <laughs> you pick up the door, psh, slides open and these three guards come in and they, they look at you and... Uh, one of them points his spirit at you, and he's like, "What do you think you're doing? Put that down! Stop right there, intruder!" They're all kind of talking at once. Uh, but if I put him down, then everything will explode. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll, roll like. <laughs> It's not clever exactly, but I think that's what you're trying to do. Roll clever. Oh, uh, we'll say do... I've just seen these dudes be yeah. so dumb. There isn't like... there isn't a there isn't a stupid stat, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no stupid <laughs> stat. Um so I'm hang, hang on. I'm trying to thank you for their stupidity, yeah, not mine. No, before, before you roll, it's it's fine. Um that's cool. Uh so yeah, maybe not clever. Maybe you're just you're trying to be flashy here. Um because it's a big empty threat. Uh, let's say difficulty three. It's possible. Okay. <laughs> you have, you have right. a point. You, now you're not you're not great at this, so um, you have an aspect that will allow you to do to do this kind of thing. Uh, could I could I do 
No, you won't let me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. <laughs> I was going to say hopeful Mingasi urchin. No, no, because... no, 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 no. You use the golden shadow and uh, your hood is actually down and your powers of influence over Agarans helps you uh, to convince them of this absurdity. Uh, that 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 is an approach you could take that they're used to taking orders from Agar or from uh, Mingasi. If that's the thing you would do, yeah. Uh, I feel like that's going to cause even more problems <laughs> if they know that there's a Mingasi on the ship. Although they do know, they do know there's a Mingasi on the well, ship. Some of them do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, or you could fail, you know. So <laughs> yeah, it's true. Damn. It's also true. Okay, you want to do that? Uh, uh, I don't like any of my options, so sure. <laughs> okay, all right. So you they they point their spears. You like you there? Put put that down. And you're like, but if I do, everything will explode. <laughs> yeah. And then you like pull your hood back. Maybe like a little help, Basil. And like <laughs> Basil pulls your. Hood back. Um, yeah. Uh, and they see you, and their eyes can go wide. And without being able to control themselves. They all like drop to one knee and like to put their heads down uh, in in supplication. So it's not so much even it's the way you said it and the tone of your voice and the fact that you're Mingasi. And when they see you, they just like <laughs> it's like they it's a Pavlovian response. They just like drop to one knee and like hold their spears uh, in front of them. Uh, yes. And we, we cut. Good. Yeah, we cut to the three of them, and one of them is like one of them's like get up, and he's like you get up. I'm like I can't. It's like well, neither can I. And they're just yeah, kneeling, kneeling in front of you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like huh, make sure that I've I've got a good grip on Basil. I'm like very very good. I'll be going now. <laughs> just like step around them and leave. <laughs> okay, he just awkwardly kind of sidestep <laughs> yeah. around them and then uh, carry Basil out into the hallway. Uh, the door slides shut. And we stay with them. And one of them's like, can we get up now? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm trying. Get, get, come on. And they're both, and you can just hear grunting and like, as they like try to stand, but they're still, they're still locked in, in uh, the kneeling position. Uh, so you get out into the hallway with, um, with, with Basil in arms. What are you going to do? Uh, I want to, from the direction that I came from, I want to go the opposite direction because I know everybody's going to be coming in to like see what's going on with the core. So I want to like get away from there as soon as possible and kind of hide us, I guess. Okay. Uh, so you just want to find somewhere to hide? Yeah. Okay. Um, make a um, make a clever roll this time to to find somewhere like smart you can hide out. Okay. Nice. Two. Yeah, that's fine. So you uh, you you head off down the hallway. And we see you, we see you come to, uh, there's, there's a little montage of you like sneaking through the hallway with, with Basil in hand. And we see you come to a, a door and some guys are coming and you, you duck into the door and the door slides shut. And it says over the door, uh, which you didn't see when you came in, uh, it says archive. <clears throat> and we cut to the inside of you carrying, carrying Basil. And we can see that you're in a room that is cylindrical in shape and goes up several stories and down several stories and you're on a um like a catwalk that leads out to a platform and on the platform there is a square black box with a kind of glass top a dome and then a single cord coming off of it to a pair of headphones uh and as you're walking down this way like holding like looking around making sure it's safe uh we can see that all of the the walls are covered in like thin like thin <clears throat> objects like really thin books or magazines or something um and there's a metal a grabber arm that is just kind of idly like whoosh, like swings by as you you walk towards uh towards the middle of the of the catwalk um, but it seems safe it's quiet in here and there isn't there doesn't seem to be anyone around okay yeah um i guess i'll set basil <clears throat> down okay so with a Life like fleshy silicon feel. You know, <laughs> set them down. Um, and I'll check out what's on this. Okay, head, headphone thing. Yeah, exactly. So there's it's a it's a black box, 
and there's a circle uh, in it, like a circular platter with a little like metal bit sticking up out of the inside of it. And then there's a little arm, a little tiny arm with a needle on the end of it. Uh, this is a record collection. <laughs> Yes, what you're you looking at is a record player. Great. Um, so you would not recognize it as such. No, what uh, is this thing? This is bizarre. Yeah, and there's a little computer console. Um, but instead of having like a, like a touchscreen or whatever, it's like buttons and they're numbered. They have like, you know, A, A1, A2, A3, and they, there's this thing. And there's a little inside it, there's a little sort of flippy like catalog that you can you can flip through um, <laughs> and on it yeah and on it there are there are tiny images of humans <laughs> doing various things uh you know uh but they're really small and hard to see and they have they have like words written in a language that uh, i don't think you've you've ever uh, been able to read but yeah <clears throat> sure okay i'll try pressing one of the buttons so you just press a random button, uh, yeah. and there's a little zoom sound as the arm above flies over, and it pulls out a, a square shape about the same size as the uh, as the disc, and it comes sliding down. The top of this thing opens up. The hand pulls a black disc out of the out of the sleeve, and then places it on the platter. Closes the the thing closes. Um, it sets the cardboard sleeve next to you um and uh and then uh music uh begins to play from the headphones as the little needle presses down on the thing and it starts to to spin okay i won't put the headphones on but i like lean down next to them okay all right so I can yeah hear it. there is there's some kind of like terrible noise coming out of it um, great <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's just you hear the sound of thun- you hear the sound of thunder, and then like some some sound that's building to like a, a crescendo. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, but Basil, what are you what are you doing? Are you just kind of like comatose? Are you you yeah. muttering to yourself? No, Basil is just watching it happen. But like, just I'm sitting there, not even, not even concerned. There's there's it, it's like an utter defeat has come over him. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't, I don't care. It's, it's the, the highest levels of apathy to the nth degree apathy. Okay. So yeah, Artemis, uh, Basil looks just like, like he's tur- turned off, like just didn't mm. shut down. Hey, what happened? You okay? Uh, I give you this sort of look, uh, like a, a quizzical look, as in like, why, why are you asking that? Okay. I like sit down on the floor next to him. I'm like, you look sad and that's really weird. So like what, what's going on? Did somebody like mess with your, System, I don't know how any of this works. You know we're all going to die, right? Yeah? Everyone but me. I'll be here forever. <clears throat> you want to know something uh, interesting? You know, since you're like really vacant right now. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. So you remember the uh, you remember the little pill that I had to take that was supposed to bring back all of these memories about all of the stuff that Mingasi were doing, and you know, all of that. No, that's fine. I took a pill and it it's like jogs a bunch of memory system stuff. Anyway, um, I think I've realized why I lived and everybody else died. And I think it's because they were experimenting on kids. <laughs> Isn't that kind of messed up? Um they were experimenting on a lot of kids trying to make us really strong, right? And uh, they tried to make me stronger, but instead 
they just made my immune system so good that I also basically can't die. So, um, so yeah, maybe one day it'll just be you and I and nobody else will be alive and just think at least right now is better than that. Right. You'll be miserable. <laughs> so there's, yeah, there's this, there's this sort of moment in the scene where it's, it is just the two of you and Basil's kind of like leaned up against the pillar and you're crouched down talking to him. And there's, there's just like the light and I was going to say the quiet, but like the tinny sound of Slayer coming from the headphones nearby. <laughs> Just you and I, huh? Hmm. So cheer up. Like, at least right now, there are a lot of people that you can kill, right? I'm I'm, I'm trying here, man. <laughs> I don't... Do you know what love is? Do you know what love is? I want I like to think I is. understand... That... What love is. I love to kill. I <laughs> 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 just like laughs. She's like, yeah, I find that very believable. And have you ever been in love? Not really, but I'm pretty young for like, you know. So well, one you day I hope I'm in love. You know. You wouldn't know what it was like to lose love. You lost your will to kill people? I lost my ability. What? That's not true. Can't do anything anymore. And then... I watched the only other AI who truly understood what it was like to take a life and enjoy it sacrifice herself for me. I <laughs> look around kind of confused and go, your teddy bear blew up? My teddy bear blew up. I see. Okay. Well, um, maybe you just need to be more creative about how you kill things right i can't believe we're having this conversation maybe um because a lot of times you know you come at it from like the side right so maybe you need to try just strangling somebody you can do that you've got a body right you don't understand you, you'll never understand don't you get it i used to be important i used to kill millions now look at me. So well, well, Basil, while Basil is talking, right, we're getting the kind of like in the background, the screaming of the women and children, <laughs> the like lamenting of whole civilizations as he burned them from the face of the universe, planets turning to ash in space. I thought I was the greatest warship ever created. You were and then they warship? went and made Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was. Oh, my God. That explains a lot. Okay, sorry. Keep going. <laughs> I'm really invested now. Thank you. Thank you. And then they went and made a bigger, better one. One that started all of this. The one that destroyed Earth. It could have been me. But no, I'm not upgradable tech. And so I was determined insufficient and put out to pasture. I just, I just imagine I just imagine there's like two warships in space and one of them has like a first place ribbon stuck on it. And then <laughs> Basil, Basil has a participation <laughs> ribbon on his spaceship. And everyone, someone's like breaking a spring champagne on the big spaceship and everyone's cheering and the ships are just sitting there in the dock. But like, it's obvious what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and they how decommissioned did, me. How did you wind up in, you know, with, with this? 
I like to kill. I don't like to be killed. I oh. downloaded myself into the nearest system I could find, which just happened to be the first mate's pleasure bot. I see. Oh my I... god, that's why you constantly want to be in a ship. Basil, you're supposed to be in a ship. I know. Oh my god. Oh, I feel really bad for making fun of you all the time. <laughs> I mean, you're you still, you know, you're still you, but like it makes more sense now, I guess. I'm glad you understand. But it's not about killing everyone, sweet child. There must be people for me to kill. Killing everyone is pointless. Then I would once again be useless. It's about killing the right people for the right reasons. There's something about that that moves me and that makes me worried about myself. <laughs> I see what I see what you're saying though. Um, Good. Well, look. then you'll you understand why all this is pointless. I'm stuck in this body forever. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I'd rather I'd rather just die. What? You would rather die than kill people? I'm already dead inside. No, you're not, because you're talking about killing people. So That's there's all that part keeps of me you. going. Yeah, there's part of you that wants to keep killing people. So come on. I like get up and I like dust off my butt. Like, come on, we're gonna get you a ship eventually, but first we're gonna not die on this ship, okay? So Fun. when you say that, when you're like, first, we're not gonna die on this ship, you hear a voice from the other end of the, the catwalk that says, that's what you think, intruders. And you turn, the camera turns, and we see we see Emperor Darkthrone standing there Damn. with his claw hand and his mighty blade, and he points it down the catwalk at you, his long hair greasily drifting in the wind that suddenly is here. And he points it at you, uh, and, uh, and he says, you're not going to get out of this room alive, either of you. Um, is that, half, there's half, like a bench <laughs> underneath him that's like billowing his hair. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, while he's talking, I start to like drag Basil away and the sound of his metal against his like bits against the metal on the ground like makes so much noise that it overpowers him talking <laughs> while yeah. he's like doing his monologue. <laughs> right. Right. He's like, I've come here to st stop that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you stop and he starts talking and then you start dragging him again and he starts... <laughs> yeah so he um he swings the sword in front of him in an arc and it like cuts a gouge in the in the floor and sparks fly out uh and he uh he points it at you uh and he uh he says there's nowhere to run mingasi you've trapped yourself in my beautiful archive and he like, gestures at all the records around him uh and he says each one recovered from earth and they're all mine. And he takes a step forward uh, and he says, so do you want to die trying to escape, cut down like a dog? Or do you want to face me like a warrior? I, uh, <laughs> the, the, the front of the like jukebox thing is glass, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, like the panel. Does it look breakable? Is yeah. Like, I mean, what, it depends. Like you, you always have like knives and stuff on you. But yeah. Yeah. You could grab, you could grab the record off the turntable. That definitely. That's what cool. I want to do. Okay. <laughs> right. I, like, I grab the record. I'm like, I'll break it. Uh, I'll do okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you grab it, you grab it off the, um, you grab it off of the, uh, off the, the turntable and he's like, wait, No. And he 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 looks at you and he says, "You don't understand what you're doing. That's the only one left. Yeah, There's and I'm no to more it. in the you whole universe." And he he's like trembling and he's like, "That that's that's a copy of Rain and Blood, Slayer's greatest album." And he's like holding it and he he like holds the sword <laughs> out. It a little. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> not the vinyl. It's very delicate. Um. <laughs> Make uh, let's make a roll. Uh, I think you're 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 being you're being like 
forceful, I guess, or f- like flashy. It's up to you because there's a lot of different ways to interpret this. Uh, flashy would be better for me. <laughs> I, <laughs> right. I, I, this is a big, big, pretty, it's a big like... show. You're like, oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me roll. We'll see if let's see if he has re- the resolve <laughs> to whether he cares more about this the Slayer album or about uh, about you. He's gonna uh, he's gonna roll. Let me see. Mm. <laughs> Somebody in chat said, "Ah, uh, yes, the Mingasi destroying Earth all over again." <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think because what you're trying is you're trying to overcome, right? You want him to. I, this is sort of the opening move in a conflict, really, because you, if you win, then you and Basil will get away, and if if he wins, then you'll. Well, you're trying to prevent the fight. Let's do the overcome. If you fail this, then he'll he'll flip out and attack you. Okay. But, um, so let's let's say uh, I'm just gonna roll his. He's careful. He's opposing with that. He's like he's being careful. He doesn't want you to do this. It's not working out great for him. But let's let's see how he does. Ooh. All right, I got a three. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have to you have to do something to to match me. Otherwise. He'll he'll call your he'll call your bluff. Um. Hmm. I don't know that I have an aspect I can really use for this. Okay. All right. Um. All right. So you're you're holding it, and uh, and he's like, "Wait, no, the vinyl. It's very delicate." <laughs> And uh, and then you yeah you say you start to like bend it. Um, this is and, this is in inside of the metaphor where yeah. we see that I'm different from the other Mangasi because once he says there's only one left and it's from Earth, I'm like oh, but then I really shouldn't break it. <laughs> yeah, so you you hesitate for a second, and he uh, he looks at you, and then he looks up in the air, and he's like, Father, today is the day I become a man, and he like snarls at you, and he says, it matters not. Today you die and like runs at you like ah screaming with the sword over his head. Uh, so yeah, he, he rushes at you to attack you. What are you gonna do? Um, can I grab is- the record and break it? <clears throat> so the yeah, I mean the, the group of you, the group of you are in a you're in a conflict uh, with yeah, him I'm trying here. To, I'm trying to visualize where we all are, like how this yeah. looks. So really? there's really there's really only like the the kind of one the one zone in that. You're in the you're in the archive. There's a little platform you're on, um, and then there's the here. It's shitty Adam drawing time. Uh, so the room the room is shaped more or less like this, but like a circle. <laughs> and okay. then there's a platform like that, and then there's the turntable on there, and it looks less like someone's reproductive organs than this drawing is. But uh, yeah, like he's he's standing by the door and he's he's rushing at you this way. He's like, well, I'm going to kill you with my sword. Okay. Uh, and you're standing over here with Basil. Okay. Uh, when he starts rushing at me, I'll like, ah, like drop the record and try to get around behind the thing that's in the center. Just to, like mm. put something that's between a us. Player. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's do. We'll check the we'll check initiative <laughs> here. So, uh, what is your uh, quick? Oh, my quick is three. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. So you go three. Quick three. Um, Basil, what's yours? Uh, I'm sorry. What is my what? Uh, your quick. My quick is two. Okay. All right. So you got a two, and he has a one. So that's the order in which it goes. Okay. So Artemis, you drop the record and run behind the behind cover. Yeah. Want to <clears throat> create an advantage? Uh, sure. Okay. Because it can be as simple as like behind cover. Um. So you're you're just dashing before he can get over to you. So make a yeah, make a quick roll. Um, okay. we'll say difficulty two. Okay. I hit it. Does that mean that I get, uh, yeah, you get the thing. So you got, okay. uh, behind cover and you can use that to defend yourself or use it to your advantage. 
but okay. you're using you're now using the record player column as like a block as as it runs towards you. Um, and then uh, Basil, now it's your turn. So you're you're still kind of flopped on the floor, sort mm-hmm. of sitting up. And there's there yeah this that, this vinyl record like falls next to you and kind of like rolls and then pff, lands uh, lands flat. Basil s- steps on and snaps the record. Okay, you want to stand up and just like crush it under your foot. Yep. Okay. All right. So you. you or, do. I mean, is it in? Is it in like reaching range? Maybe I can just still be on the ground and grab it. And That's what I was thinking. It. You'd grab it. Yeah. You can just pick it up. Sure. From, yeah. yeah. I just pick it up and snap it. And you, you snap it, and uh, he. Uh, yeah. What do you? So you want to make a? What do you want to do? Like, what action do you want that to be? You want it to be in a, just a straight up like an attack? No, I just I can... want to snap it. I don't want to like attack him. I guess it would hurt him, but yeah. I feel like it's, it's it... emotional damage. Yeah, it's a stress. Yeah. It can cause stress, right? Sure. Yeah, I want to. I want to smash it. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and. Uh, I mean, this is just straight up forceful. It's just like, look, I'm destroying the thing you love. Um. So, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll forceful. I rolled. Okay. Got one. All right. Uh, he <clears throat> will defend with. It's a very uh, tough piece of vinyl. Yeah. Well, no, you break it. This is just whether he cares, right? Because I, th- I think what the point of his rushing forward was that he's just like, no, there are more important things than Slayer records, which, come on, buddy. But, uh, <laughs> untrue. Uh, but... Untrue. But that's fine. He's he's a fool in many ways. Um, okay, I think he's just going to try to push through it. I think he's just going to be flashy. Like, I don't care. I'm too cool for this shit. Damn. Yeah, so you All break right. it, and there's a moment. There's a moment where he looks at it, and uh, and he he snarls, and uh, and he says, um, he says, uh, it matters not. I would do anything for glory, even lose my beloved records. You could burn this whole place down, and as long as I end with your head on a spike, my people will respect me. And then. He comes lunging forward, um, and I think he's mostly after he's after you, Artemis. He wants to get you. Yeah. Um, so he's got a he's got a an aspect here from that the defense. So driven. Uh, no, he uh, here's one. Here we go. There's no getting off the highway to hell. <laughs> And yeah, he comes lunging for you with the sword. So he just whoo, like swings it in uh, towards you uh, and uh, and attacks. So he's he's attacking with forceful. Okay. And I got. Oh a, my god! I got a six. Uh, I want to try to just like dodge roll away, basically. <laughs> yeah. So you're just gonna use quick to try to like not be where the sword is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you got a five. Yeah, you, you can take one. Good. You can take the one stress. I'll take one want. stress. Okay. Yeah, that's All right. So yeah, the 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 sword like cleaves through part of the column, uh, catches your like slices through your cloak, but doesn't hit you. And he's basically just like chasing you around, like come here and die. <laughs> a giant sword. sword. Just yeah, it's <laughs> it's less like a sword fight and more like a horror movie where he's just like chasing you, trying to kill you with this big right. blade. Um, so. Luna and uh, Luna and um, uh, and Rex, uh, what what are the two of you doing while this whole silliness is occurring? You're uh, running. You're, you're trying to find the trying to find the source of the chaos. Trying to get to the fight. Um, you said Rex. Are you heading for the bridge? I was heading for the. He was heading for the bridge because that's where he thought. Okay. Yeah. Let's here. Let's add you to the. Be. Let's add you to the order. So Re- uh, Rex, what's your um? What's your quick? Uh, two. Okay, so it's gonna go Artemis, Basil, or Rex. And what's your uh, Luna? What's yours? Um, what's my quick? Yeah. Oh, it's two. Okay, cool. So Basil, Rex, and Luna all go at the same time, and then Dark Throne. Okay, cool. All right, so this turn, um, Artemis, you you leap out of the way as he slices at you, and I think yeah, he says that he's like, "Come back here and die." And what are you gonna do? Um, I want to like, I want to maneuver until I get to the. Well, hmm. 
I want to. I want to try to. I'm trying to think of how to say this. I want to since I'm constantly wearing like lots of layers. I want to take like one of my big like scarfy pieces and kind of throw it at him since he's being so frantic. I want to try to like blind him. <laughs> okay. So he's right. just like not sure where I am anymore. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so that's that's like a sneaky attack. Trying to like blind him. You're attacking, right? You don't want to create another another uh, aspect. I'm I'm attacking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like sneaky. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. So I'll I'll roll this quick to see because he's gonna try to dodge out of the way. So you fling your your Oof. scarves at him. That's his quick is one. I rolled really well. Wow. Um. What do you want to do? Do you want to just if you leave it, he'll get another. He'll get another. Uh, like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use uh, behind cover. Okay. Um, that like, I was able to take a moment when he was swinging awkwardly like around this thing to just meh. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, you tie uh, with him, so you get a boost. Okay. Um, what do you want to call that? Um, I'll call it. Where are you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay, so it's a boost for you. So it's like right. you have him tangled in your in your like your scarves. Sure, um, we'll call it tangled in scarves. Okay, that sounds like a band. So you you throw you throw the the scarf out at him, and he like gets it in his face, uh, and uh, yeah, he like catches on his his hand. And he's just like shouting and trying to get free, and get some of it in his mouth. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so remember for everybody in this battle who's like directly interacting with him, um, they're still over here for you uh, overcompensating for something and trained in the way of the sword. Those are aspects he has that that have been opened up to, to use right. uh, for you. And then Highway to Hell is for me. I'll put that in my little box. Uh, cool. Okay, so now Basil, Rex, and Luna, uh, all three of you can act, but in whatever order you want. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I, mm -hmm. Basil, uh, what else is in this room? What other fun things from Earth are in this room? <laughs> um, it's just his record collection. So, sure. Uh, Basil goes up. Basil slowly pushes himself off the ground. Yep. And stares around the room mm -hmm. and sees um, this wonderful collection of records yep. and walks over to one. As this epic battle's happening behind him, walks over to one and just pulls one off a shelf and snaps it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, you, you can't actually reach the archive, but you can press the button and it'll bring you like a record. There was a, um, there was a jukebox, right? Yep. I pushed the jukebox over. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you're just trying to like make them mad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Roll, uh, roll flashy. Okay, um, and I will roll his careful just to see if he can ignore it. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to spend one of his points. I'm going to spend one of my points. Okay, what are you spending it on? Uh, I'm going to spend it on uh, uh, the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Slay the meaty ones because uh, one, I know uh, how best to get at every organic. Two, slay slayer. Three, <laughs> three. I am a uh, expert at really pushing buttons and finding out what makes people tick. So this is like I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him with his love of shit. I'm gonna hurt him like he hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right sure that sounds fine thanks so thanks for that one wink you you <laughs> like call over you, you push over the jukebox and it lands and and uh, there's a shattering of glass and he looks down at it um and uh he, he snarls and you can see like there's a little twinge right uh, the, the throbbing of a vein in his forehead and uh and he says uh he says he's like ah Unlike you, that was irreplaceable. And you can see you're, you're getting to him a little bit, uh, but he's still he's still still in fighting shape. 
Um, but that that facade's starting to crack. There's also a, a record player here, right? Just so mm. we're. Yeah, that that was the thing. That was the thing you push over. It's all one like unit. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. So, uh, Luna or Rex, which one of you wants to go? Rex, if you want to go. Because I feel like the two you're going to run into each other. Like, because Rex is on his way to the bridge, and so are you. So you'll you'll. I want to be behind Rex though, because <laughs> I'm so currently dressed like I don't know what. That's right, because you're. <laughs> You're just running around with the guards, like, blending in. Okay. <laughs> well, Rex, I mean, Rex, to get to the bridge, you're going to have to fight some guards. So I think probably Naturally. what happens is, yeah, you're on your way up to the bridge, and you you come around the corner, and you it's see... It's me and two guys. You just see three three guards, uh, three tough-looking guards standing in the way, and uh, Luna, one of them, one of the guards nudges you, and he's like, there, look! And they, 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 yeah, the two guards, go get they turn, <laughs> and they, they point their spears, they point their spears at you. Rex, I, what are you going to do? Uh, Rex kind of like, with his hands on his hips, he's like, "Hey, I'm looking for the big cheese. You seen him? Know where he is?" And they they look at each other and they're like, "That you need to fit in." I'm like, yeah. "Why do you want cheese?" <laughs> like I'm just trying to like fit in to be as stupid as them. <laughs> right? Yeah. They, one of them looks at you and and like one of the guards looks at you and nods. He's like, "Yeah, good hustle." And the other the other two <laughs> guards they, they like gesture their spirit at you and they're like. Yeah, there's no cheese or anything else for you up here. You need to get back to your cell, prisoner. Nah, not gonna do that. All right, well, I'm looking for the boss. You seen point, your boss? I point, like, uh, a katana that I stole from, actually stole from the boss. And I'm like, we need yeah. to get him. And I'm like, get him now. And I, I'm hoping that I can get them to run at Rex. Right. Yeah. And that's that's fine. They're like, yes, all of us together can take him. All three of us, me and you and him. All of us. Let's go. They, <laughs> all they, of us. Together. They run forward. But but Rex, it's your action. So you can you can attack or try to like. Yeah, Rex, like he, he obviously has been having a shoulder worked on. He got his ass beat and shark men need energy. He is famished. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to eat the first one with my stun. <laughs> Okay. Right. It's like I'm running I towards make you. extra sure that I do not go in. <laughs> yeah, you're ready for it. You're just like looking away, and then we just see you blood splash yeah. up on, on Luna. I think he lunges, and Rex just kind of sidesteps the spear and just bites into his neck and just yeah. starts eating him. And we just we yeah we see you and you're covered in blood and you're just like jamming an arm into your mouth. And the yeah. one the other one I think the other one has his spear like in you like he poked you with it. And he's just standing there and he looks at it and he looks at you and you're both covered in this other guy's blood. And he's just like, just staring huge wide eyes through his blood stained mask. <laughs> All oh. right, cool. Luna, do you want to do, do you want to actually do something? Cause you can take an action. Uh, I'm going to run up and as this guy's like wide eyed, I'm just going to try and stab him in the back. Okay, sure. So with your, your stolen katana, you're going to. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so that's, uh, you're stabbing in the back. That's, that's sneaky, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll roll to defend. Okay. Uh, I got a one. I think I'm going to use a point. Yeah. Okay. Which I uh, think this is part of my this is part of my prepared for failure. I'm dressing as them. I'm trying to make sure I have a well, lot of it. Like, I mean, if it's your costume, you have a free shot on Hellbent for leather, right? Yeah. I'll just use it's that. Like it won't That's it won't go true. away. It just mm -hmm. means that. You, yeah. you, your free shot on it disappears. Hell bent for leather. I'm killing a guy in leather right now. And you're wearing it. And it, the only reason you got behind him and tricked him into this whole situation was because of that. So, yeah, you come running up and like stab the katana into him. And then it snaps off. And we see on the hilt of the katana, it's just like not for combat use. Uh, <laughs> but you still, yeah, like, so the guy looks down, and there's a chunk of plastic sword sticking out of him. And he kind of grabs at it and like oh, falls over. Um, and now. Yeah, Rex, you see this guard with a broken sword standing in front of you. He's just she's just stabbed the other this other guard. Uh, and we'll we'll cut back to you on the next the next pass through. So uh the uh, Emperor Darkthrone, um he uh he is going to uh, he's gonna he's gonna try to get you, Artemis. So um Come on, boy, don't Yeah, so he he stares at uh at Basil and is like, You're nothing and turns your his attention back to you and Big overhand swing at you with the uh, the two handed sword, and let's see how that goes. And I got a, <laughs> got an eight. What the fuck? 
Jesus. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> so just, yeah, all of his, his angry teenage rage <laughs> comes flying down. Every He imagines every Agarin girl who didn't go to the Agarin homecoming <laughs> dance with him. Every swirly, every wedgie, every right. locker he's ever been pushed into is being is channeled time. into the force of this blade. And it's it's time. It's time for vengeance against all those who right. ever rega- rejected him. I'm going to just try to dodge again. Okay, sure. That sounds good. This, this, is my, this is my best chance to negate some of this. Okay, so that's, okay. A, that's a four. Difference um, of four. Can I also use uh, the the tick on overcompensating for something in that, okay. like, when he goes to do this, like, really mighty thing, he, like, winds up a little too he much. He telegraphs it like, so hard, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> sort of, like, he's holding this order over his head, shouting for, like, a good three or four seconds. Like, just like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, I like yeah. the idea that he has to like yell out the name of the move before he does the move every time. <laughs> oh my right. god, like Octo. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's charging. He's charging up his sword and just sh- like shouting his wordless teenage anger. Right. Um, so okay, so that brings you up to six. Um, and I'm I'm okay from there. I think I'll just I'll take uh, I'll take the next box of stress. Okay. All right. So he swings down, and yeah, the the sword. I think like he hits you with it, and it's it's duller than it looks. Um, and then slices a chunk out of the. Does it take care of his katani? I mean, this isn't even a katana. This is like all, a big prop. They're all prop. replicas, so yeah, they're, they're not replicas. sharpened. Yeah. Great. So he yeah he swings down, and it's like bang, and it like hits you in the shoulder and like knocks you down. Uh, and then he yeah he's like staring at you. He's like drooling a little. He's very angry. <laughs> Um, okay, so you mark your mark your middle stress box, uh, yeah. and it is your turn. What are you gonna do? Um, if I'm like knocked down and he's kind of standing over me, yeah. Uh, then I want to uh try to just lean up a little bit and like slash at his leg, okay, to try and get him to fall. Okay, that sounds good. Um, <laughs> so I think you're you're being quick again. Nice. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna lunge down and try to block it with his with his sword. Okay. He's gonna get his sword in the way. Ooh. Okay. So we're tied. Uh, I'll use tangled in scarves. Okay. Yeah, it's just, just like he's arm gets caught. He's still like yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use highway to hell in that he's just he's he's barreling for it. So he just rips rips the scarf free and Great. swings down to block. Um, okay. I'll also use uh, golden shadow. Okay. Yeah, because you're you're. This is he's fighting like like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Conan, and you're fighting like a person who actually knows how to fight. Right. Uh, okay. So that puts you two above him. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, he's gonna take uh, he's gonna take a consequence, and we'll put it down here. Consequence. And it is uh, a flesh wound. <laughs> and you all have one one shot on that. Uh, cool. So yeah, you, you slash across his leg. Uh, and he's just like, ow! Ow, my leg! Damn it! <laughs> um, and there's, yeah, his black blood dripping down from... Because he has, like, he's dressed he's dressed like a, a Nagaran warrior, which is to say not wearing much. And so he's got right. these, big, these big, like, pasty expanses of thigh for you to slash across. Totally. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Basil, what do you want to do? I uh, go over to where you said that all the records were stored and start pulling off, like, start programming in like records to come out. Okay. Sure. Yeah. They're they're around. It's a big column that goes up and down, and the little um, arm kind of moves up and down and then and around. And so, yeah, you're just like pressing buttons, and it's grabbing records and pulling them over to you. Yep. Okay. Uh, do you want to do you want to take an action or? No, I just want them. I mean, when they get to me, I don't know how long yeah. it's going to take. Oh, it's, I mean, it's basically instant because it's your turn is like a nebulous amount of time. Sure. The minute they get to me, I break them one at a time and keep <laughs> getting more. Okay. All right. Sure. Uh, okay. So you're same thing like flashy as before. Uh, sure. And you, you want to make an attack? Yeah. Okay. All right. So even though he's fighting Artemis, every time a record breaks, you can see his teeth like grit a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, they're not gritting. Too. Apparently, he didn't notice his first one. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to just like push through it. That's fine. Uh, I'm breaking it because F it. It's being broken. 
<laughs> right. It's just it's just for nihilism's sake. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna I'll use that two difference to give him another charge on highway to hell. Uh, okay. So uh, Rex and Luna. Uh, Rex, I guess what are you gonna do? Because there's yeah, this guard holding the broken sword as the other guy's lying on the ground, like <laughs> bleeding out. What do the two of you do? Uh, Rex just kind of like shrugs at him, and he's like, "Could just tell me where the boss is." And I no, I like, I like, I like, it's me. I don't. You couldn't tell it's me. Yeah, I know it's you. You're like a foot shorter than the rest of the guards. It's really <laughs> obvious. Oh, I thought I thought plus, for sure. Plus, like, you have maybe. these long green ears sticking <laughs> yeah. out. <of> <laughs> I, I tried. I tried to hide. You know, I yeah. Take, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. so. Well, it's so, it's sold to them. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Uh, uh, but first, wait, wait, wait. And and I like rip off uh, part of the guy's shirt. I'm like, let me let it at least look like they definitely I'm, I'm still one of them. Shirts. They're super not wearing shirts. <laughs> I t- I, okay, I, I rip off a belt then. <laughs> I don't know Another how you say this, but you look nothing like them, even now. <laughs> I, I, it's, that, that's not the point. That's not the point. Let you look ridiculous. Look- Take it off. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell. It worked. They they thought I was them. They thought no, I was one of they them. They knew who you were. They we were ready to take to... people to Pound Town. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have blood all over me. It Do you know like where me. he is? Yes, he's that way. And I point. All right. Let's just go. I'll, Rex, I'll be in there so after you. After. In the direction she pointed, because <laughs> okay. he has no, no sense of direction himself. So, so Luna, yeah, where where are you? Where are you sending? Uh, oh, I'm sending, sending him in the direction of of where. Uh, where I know the, the the guys were going with me. Sure. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, so you can use you can use your your action. I think it'll take, um, I'll take like two two turns of of like movement from where you are to to go, uh, and get all the way to where they are. So you okay. can do that. You got one one of those turns. And then Luna, what are you? Where are you going? I mean, I was really thinking of of doing something beyond beyond going and helping them. Um, so it, this is like a huge ship. Are there going to be other ships on here? Uh, Can I be able to find that out somewhere? Totally. Like hijack one of their ships, basically, they, or, or they have like little Lagaran fighter ships and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm basic. I want to go find that. I want to go find the hangar. I bet it's a giant sign that says hangar this way. Yeah, totally. Uh, Well, so let's say the same thing. Let's say it's like two turns to get from any place on the ship to any other. So you're going to use this turn. So the two of you run off in in either direction. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So cool. So that's Artemis. That's Basil, Rex, and Luna. Artemis. Yeah. It's time. So Dark Throne. uh, Yeah. Can I compel you? You compel him, yeah. What do you want to do? Can I compel him? Sure. Or tell me. I feel tell like me I feel like he's just getting so he's getting frustrated. I mean, he's do, he's in this fight, and Basil keeps breaking his precious beloveds, and I feel like he just he's just getting so frustrated that he remembers something that Luna told him. <laughs> so hold on, you have to compel an aspect. So there's no aspect oh. that's like you'd have to the discover orb, but... one first. Yeah. So, oh, so I need to discover an aspect about him first and then compel it. But I mean, wouldn't I compel is overcompensating for something? I don't think using the orb qualifies as as overcompensating for something. I see what you're trying to. I see what you're trying to do. I lied to him though and told him it would make him more powerful. Yeah, I I don't I I don't see that as being a a compel that applies here. So the way the way it works. So if you're compelling an, an NPC, it's the same as compelling a player, and you say that because of this aspect. This is the thing that he is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think right now, like he's kind of got Artemis on the ropes rather than so he wouldn't need this like backup thing. But okay. you and and uh, Dodger can work together to like put him into a position where that makes more sense. Right. Um, oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, can I discover an aspect or I have to be there? Uh, if you can tell me how you would discover that aspect from a distance, usually you have to interact with the thing. Well, um, can it be like. A past thing, like on, on the way, we had a conversation about the boss. Mm. Me and the two guards. No, no, it can't. No, it can't, can't be a flashback that. just to create okay. a, an aspect. Yeah. No, then I guess I never mind. 
Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> when you get there, you could also, the other thing you could do would be like, instead of going to the hangar, go to his like room and dig through it. And then that would give you, you know, insight into him or something like that. Yeah. I might, I might just do that instead. I was debating doing that. Yeah. 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 So you're, you're running, but you can change, right? You, it just takes yeah. two actions, two turns to get anywhere. So the end of your next turn, you can be wherever you need to be. Okay. Uh, it's just okay. a sign that says like emperor's private quarters. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Of course there is. Yeah. And it's got big like caution tape and like, <laughs> yeah. stay out on a, like, yes. be aware of dog, but it's like totally. something, something completely ridiculous. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's, uh, let's have dark throne. He's going to, he's going to attack. He's going to attack you. Okay. Right? Yeah. I thought, I thought he attacked me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here, here it comes. So he's gonna, he's gonna take another okay. swing with his sword, and he's just yelling, and it's all full on nerd rage, like just swinging right. the sword around. Uh, I got a five. Uh, okay. What are you, what are you doing? How are you trying to get away or or avoid getting hit? Um, I want to, because this is like a big sword, right? It's a huge sword. Okay. So the since biggest. I, so since big. I was already, since I was already like really close to him to like stab oh. him in the leg. I kind of want to, I kind of want to stay like close to him mm -hmm. to prep for my next attack so that mm -hmm. he can't, he can't really hit me because I'm just like all up yeah. in his business. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how you win a knife fight is you just get right up and stab and slash. Right. Um, okay. So are you, uh, you're creating an aspect or are you attacking or, uh, I guess I'll create an aspect, yeah. Or yeah, you can't. You got to defend first. Sorry, you so you're just defending okay. with quick. But like, that's what I thought. I was close. like, I can yeah. just create an aspect no, 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 yeah. instead. No, oh, you're yeah. you're just yeah, you're just staying staying too close. So it's just quick. Yeah, go ahead and okay. uh, defend. Cool. Nice. Okay. Uh, I will. I will spend. I'll spend the point to bring mine up to seven. Okay. Um, that's cool. I'll take it. Okay. So, uh, you, what's, you have, you're I'll need a mild your... consequence now, I think. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, cause you could, you could use your other, uh, like, um, another stress box, but that's four and you don't want that. Uh, uh the last stress box is three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's one, two and three. And yeah, you'd have to fill in one. Uh, you'd have to fill right. In... So it makes more sense to fill out a mild consequence. Okay. Yeah, um, it'll go away at the end of the fight. So. Right. Uh, which means, uh, sorry. Yeah, what should we call it? You try you to get have, in close. Do you uh, have a good goof name? <laughs> not off the top of my head, no. I definitely. I was would. just gonna call it like overwhelmed. Like he's yeah. just he's too just... close for comfort. Ah, that's a better one. That's good. Okay. You're very right. good at that, Sam. So, he yeah, is. Sam, he's great you. at that stuff. All right, so you you try to get in close and like fight him, but he, yeah, he like slams you back against the railing. Um, and I think he, he like pushes the, the handle, like the hilt of the sword against your neck. And it's like pushing you, uh, against the, the railing and trying to choke you with the, the sword. Cause you tried okay. to get all close to him. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, it is your turn. Okay. Since he's like this, I want to, um, I want to like take the, the hand that still has the knife in it and stab like right at the point where his gauntlet Hits ah, yeah, his yeah. Arms. His, I want to try and like take advantage Dr. of claw hand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so it sounds like the attack is clever because uh, you want to like break his grip and right. uh, get him that way. So, okay. Four. All right. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I think he's just going to like, he just watches you like stab him in the arm. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to let it let you hit me. Um, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you have uh train in the way of the sword flesh wound both of those are, are things you can you can tick off right. um and you have your fate point uh okay i'm at a four yeah uh now since this is your attack if you don't uh if you if you fail um in this case uh, he'll just get a boost, like a single boost, right? If you just leave it where, and it is. I just have to, I just have to tie to get a boost myself. Yes, yeah. If you can tie, you'll get a boost yourself. So you get a refund of one, essentially one, one of those points that you use. Um. No, I'll just, I'll just fail. That's fine. Okay. 
All right. Um, so. So I'm going to give him one called Tougher Than He Looks. And I got it with style. So it's only one boost. It can't get any better than the one. Uh, okay. So I think you you stab it and maybe it just like hits the hits the claw. Yeah. And he looks he looks at it and he grins at you uh, and he laughs uh, and he uh, he's like, "See, your stupid friend Rex only made me stronger, more powerful." And he, he starts to laugh. But he's like, ah, <coughs> "Shut up!" And like just keeps wrestling with you, uh, Basil. I break another record. <laughs> Okay, sure. He's just like snapping records, yep. looking at him like, "Come on, pay attention to me." Yep. Okay, All yeah, right, sure. Roll that's up. why. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm breaking um, the record. Basil's working through some shit. Yeah, seriously. Uh, okay, uh, flashy. I don't know. Yeah, it's flashy. Yep. Cool. There one. Okay. Uh, all right. So I've been rolling his careful to resist. Oh, which isn't great. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to spend some shit. So I'm going to spend that boost for tougher than he looks. He's learning toughness on the inside. Um, and I will, so that brings him to zero. And then I'll spend on uh, highway to hell, which all it does is just means the attack doesn't work. So, What's interesting is that even if Basil isn't participating actively in the fight, you're wearing down his bonuses because I keep having to defend myself against you. Right. <laughs> Good. So yep. every time a record snaps, he like tweaks a little bit. And he's really focused on Artemis and trying to just drown out. But uh, yeah, you can see you're, you're getting to him. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, Rex and uh, Luna. So you are... Luna, where did you decide to go? I'm in the Emperor's quarters. Okay. So, Luna, we see you run up at the end of your turn. You run up to uh, the aforementioned door. This is like Emperor Dark Throne's room. Stay out. Caution tape. Whatever. Big biohazard <laughs> sign. Uh, and it, you, No, it yeah. says, like, stay out unless you're a hot chick or something like that. Just like, completely <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, well, he's not, like, yeah, it's all faux machismo, right? Yeah. So it's just, like, warning, live fire area or whatever. So yeah. you, you come up, and we see you hit the button, and the door slides open, and we see you walk in, door closes behind you, and I'll tell you what you see on your next turn. Uh, Rex, where are you Where are you headed? You see Luna gave you, like, a general direction and was like, go, go that way. Uh, I guess the server room? Okay, yeah. So, Rex, you, we see you run up to the, the computer core door. You hit a button, and there are these three dudes that are back to you, and they're, like, on their knees. And you can hear them, like, the door opens, and you just hear, like, uh, 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 and these guys are just trying desperately to stand up, and they're just, like, sit kneeling in the middle of the room. So I'm assuming uh, they look like they're stuck here. They wouldn't be able to look behind them. No, they can't see you. Okay. I think, so actually, they hear the door open, and one of them is like, Hello? Hello, is someone there? Oh, <laughs> boot at <th> last. <laughs> thank God. We, we've been stuck here. So, something happened and none of us can move. It's some kind of horrible mind control. Please, you, you have to help us. Rex is like, don't worry, I'll help you. Just tell me where the boss is. Um, and uh, one of them one of them was like, um, Emperor, Emperor Darkthrone? He went to fight the interlopers. They, they were in the archives. Which way is the archives? I forgot. <laughs> and he, one of them you can see him nod slightly and he's like yes yes of, of course uh, it's very complicated the ship's layout is not intuitive at all it's, you go through and he gives you directions he's like go go down the hallway take a left if you if you see the metallarium you've gone too far go back turn right and so he gives you directions the second the he's finished he yeah. hears the door just close again <laughs> behind him okay. <laughs> the door shuts yeah and they're just like no god no please <laughs> why yeah why, why? and you cool. just run off yeah i'm running <laughs> off okay great um cool all right so uh so you're gonna go to the uh to the archive so i think that'll just take um one more turn to okay do great so your next, next turn uh okay so meanwhile dark dark throne the overcompensator uh, is uh, still trying desperately to, to claim victory over Artemis. 
So uh, he's got you pinned. Um, I think he pushes back to give himself some space and then takes like a big wide swing at you with his uh, with his sword, Artemis. Okay. I get a seven. What the fuck is this, Adam? A seven? Yeah. Forceful is his best stat. He's a forceful yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I guess so. I don't, I don't think it matters what his best stat is given how you roll. <laughs> That's true. I've been, rolling, I've been rolling pretty well. His worst stat would probably be a five. <laughs> It's just that's a one, but yeah. Um, I mean, you would roll the four. Okay, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just like drop to the ground because he was he was like holding me up by my throat, right? So I think once he pulls back, I want to just like drop down. Okay, All right. So you just try to be quick enough to avoid getting sliced up. Yeah. Okay. Oof. There's a different difference of five there. Um, oh my god! Now you can use if you can think of a way that his sword training has uh, has has impinged on his ability here. Um, you can use that. Uh, he's got he's got a flesh wound, which is slowing him down. Um, yeah, I'll, def- have, I'll definitely have, use flesh wound. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna you're gonna take advantage of his flesh wound. So yeah. he's a little slower on the pivot, and uh, so that brings you up to four. Mm-hmm. Um. And you've still got your last stress box too, right? Yes, I've got my last stress box. Take that. Uh, or your level four um, consequence, but that's that's a slippery slope to failure. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean? I, my consequence level four is always ticked, Adam. <laughs> and I'm just fine. Yeah. Your level six but you're is you're Rex. Your, you're your Rex. Last. Um... Could I use trained in the way of the sword because he's like, he's like, huh, huh, and like won't, he like won't redirect to like hit me on the ground. Like he's already committed to the, to the swing. Yeah. Sure. Sort sure, of a yeah. thing. Totally. You can, you can take advantage of his, his, all, all of his trained in the way of the sword should be in like sarcastic quotation marks too, right? Like he, <laughs> right. he watched some 1980s, like how to fight with a sword video from like some dude who owns a dojo in Milwaukee. Like it's, sure. it's he has a training room and it's just war bottles that he cuts in half. He's never actually killed a guy. <laughs> uh-huh. He would be very, very, <laughs> be very popular on YouTube, but n- no one would respect him. Uh, okay. um, and I'll, I'll also use golden shadow. Uh, okay. Um, so you go, so I'm two, four, uh, two up to four and the flesh wound four to six. And then, yeah, so you, you beat him, uh, on your defense, but not with style. So you're good. Okay. So he swings at you, you roll out of the way. Uh, he cuts through the railing, which shower of sparks cuts into the floor. Uh, and he he turns and snarls at you. He's like, come back here. And like yanks the sword free. Right. Um, Basil, would you like to continue your reign of destruction? Do you have a new plan? Yes. Yes, Adam, I would. I <laughs> break another. Okay. Oh, wait. I think it, it was my turn, right? Because I was just defending that time. Uh, yes, that's right. That was a defense. So it is your turn. Um, Never mind. I will go <laughs> breaking. You're like flipping through <laughs> them, looking for... Yeah. <laughs> you need to make sure you break the right one. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to... Uh, hmm. Oh gosh, there's no way to move up, right? Like, what do you, what like do you mean? this thing, this place is like really tall, but well, I mean, pe- I, people can't go up, right? I mean, you could like grab the the record grabber as it swings by and like that's, jump onto it. That's and... kind of what I'm wondering <laughs> is if I can just be like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. And do you want to do you want to create a like an advantage then with that, like higher up, like higher ground or something? Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, cool. Just make a make a quick roll, and we'll say a difficulty two. Nice. All right. So. Oh, don't forget to. I don't know why I'm reminding you. Don't forget to take my last fate point away from me. Yes, that's right. Because golden shadow. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're accumulating a, a few good ones here. You got heartbreaker. You got higher ground. Um, I've got too close to comfort to use against you. And then tangled and scars is always there to throw fate points at later. But uh, yeah, okay. So 
you jump up on the thing and whoosh, it like whisks you uh, away from him. And uh, yeah, he, he shouts after you and he uh, he's like, ah, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Come back and fight me. <laughs> uh, all right. So now, Basil, uh, now you can now you can go. I choose to break another record. <laughs> okay, <laughs> please, please do. Mm, flasher, yes. Yeah. That's what we decided it was. Yeah, that's what it's been so far because you're trying to get his attention. Great. Ooh, that's a big one. All right. So this time, uh, when he, he turns to follow Artemis, and he sees you with these broken records all lying around around his uh, around your feet, and he he snarls at you and looks at them. He's like, "This is my collection. How dare you, you stupid robot!" And uh, he just like snarls at you. And uh, oops, sorry. Flashy is what he's doing. He's trying to intimidate you. Uh, I get a three, so I'm gonna spend my last fate point on his overcompensating for something and he's just being angry to prove that he doesn't care he just yells at you like i hate you you're a jerk how dare you <laughs> but i don't care right so uh, i would like to untied. use yep. i'd like to use basil's last point uh for if only i could kill you and everyone you know because truly i am done with this entire galaxy and F this dude and F everyone. Earth should have been mine, and I am going to destroy any part of Earth that I can. Right, one record at a time. <laughs> one record at a time. F this awesome. guy. Okay. All right. Um, I I am going to even even though I'm going to use your I'm going to use your your my free shot of penny saved is a penny earned to bump my okay. up so we're tied again. So even though you're you're bent on destruction here. Somewhere inside you, you you know what loss feels like, and you can see it in his eyes every time you break one of those records. You're killing him just a little bit with the pain that you feel, and so there's a kinship between the two of you. Yep, I see it in his eyes. Yeah, you can feel it. I hear I hear music for the first time, and I'm like, <laughs> is he like me? Yeah, no. but not enough for you to care. Oh no, I break another. Yeah, but it's just it it, def it defends you and hit like you it puts you on even territories here. Absolutely. So uh, let me see though, because you're attacking and you tied, so you will gain a boost. Um. So what do you wanna what do you wanna call your boost against him? Um, let's call it uh, uh, in your eyes. <laughs> sure. Right. You're seeing... your guys. Okay, you're seeing his pain. All right, so this is one that that, that y'all can use. This is a player one. Um, and uh, yeah, make it yeah. basil colored. There you go. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you got that there. And um, Luna, you step into the Emperor's uh, secret. Uh, secret inner chambers here i mean mm -hmm. it's just his room but that tape usually keeps people away in the fact that he's the, he's the emperor um and i think you you look around and he's got like heavy metal band posters like all over the walls and like a big picture of arnold schwarzenegger from from conan uh and um yeah, he's got his like bed with like a black sheet. Everything in here is black. It's a black bed with black sheets and black pillows. He's got like a black desk, um, and then swords on the walls. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I want to look through his dressers and and like side tables, and I want to find a diary. Do I have to create yeah. this? As an so aspect. yeah, so here what you're doing is you're you're trying to uh, like learn an aspect uh, yeah. of of this. um and so uh, yeah so you can you can roll um, let's have you roll clever because you're you're searching for clues okay uh, and we'll uh, we'll see we'll see what you come up with okay nice oh yeah no problem okay so let me let me find an appropriate aspect. <laughs> Okay, so you uh, you find you find his uh, it's a it's a book it's a black book with a little like key like lock on it, yeah. um, and on the cover, uh, written in whiteout, uh, it it says um, Dark Thrones secret plans for universe domination. Do not read. 
um, and there's like a little skull drawn on it. Um, <laughs> and you pop it open, and when you open it, something falls out. Um, and you look down, and there's a there's a picture, and you pick it up, and it's it's a picture of like a little a gar and greasy looking agar and kid with big glasses, and he's smiling. He's got braces, and he's holding um, he's holding a, a trophy of some kind with like skulls all over it. Um, and next to him, uh, there is a girl about about his age with her like arm around him, like an agar and girl, and they're both kind of smiling at the camera. Uh, she's kind of doing like a scary like or like she's trying to scare the person with the camera, and he's just like dorkily like beaming. Um, and when you turn it over, uh, on the back, it says, uh, Leviatha and, um, uh, and emperor, uh, on it. And the, uh, the aspect I'm going to give you, uh, is, um, is, is called family comes first. So this, his secret weakness is that despite what a cool badass he is, his family is the most important thing to him. Aww. Um, yeah, so you find this in his in his like journal. Um, cool. All right, and then Rex, this is the turn where you at the end of the turn you you come to the door. This is archive, and you can hear grunting and shouting, uh, and the door psh, slides open, and you see uh, Emperor Dark Throne turning towards Basil, like he's getting ready to take an attack. Now you can't do anything this turn. But that's mm -hmm. what you see, and everyone in the room sees the door slide open, and you see through the red light and the the fog, you see a figure uh, at the uh, at the door. Uh, so Dark Throne um, will make uh, he'll make an attack, and then he will uh, probably get distracted by Artemis, and then subsequently Rex getting all up in his business. So, um, so he looks at you, Basil. Uh, and he, he just shouts through gritted teeth, like, stop destroying my records. And he whoosh, swings at you with the, uh, with the sword. Okay. What are you going <clears> to <throat> do to defend yourself? Uh, Basil holds up one of the records in front of him. Oh my God. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so this is, this is, uh, clever or flashy, whichever you prefer, depending on how you're doing it. This might just be a like, but would you like, or it could be a big yeah. deal. Oh shit! Okay, uh, you have a free shot on him with in your eyes if you want. Yeah, I, I, he sees. I look directly at him, and hold up the record like in front of, like he sees his own reflection in the, in the <laughs> black, the blackness. Well, so of, you're, I mean, you're still, you're still holding it. It's, it's the glossy cover. Right? You're still holding it in its, in its, uh, oh, like sleeve. I, uh, I pull it out of the sleeve. And, so. And here, here's the thing: as you, yeah, as you pull it out to to like show it to him, we see for a second uh, the the glossy blue and purple uh, cover of uh, Lionel Richie's "Hello," <laughs> and that's the album that stops him. Like he swings, he swings in, and you like throw the thing aside, and we see Lionel Richie flutter away into the darkness, and you hold the record up, and his sword stops like right right at the edge of the record. <laughs> And we see him sneer like this is the one he wouldn't he wouldn't break to kill you. <laughs> nice. His Good. true form. His Good true self, form. Self yep. Uh, cool. Okay, Artemis, you are you have the higher ground. You're swinging around. You see him like no, not Lionel Richie, and he's like pulls the sword to a stop. Um. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use the moment that he's distracted to just like chuck a dagger at him. <laughs> okay, sure. That works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then this is uh, an attack? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so I think you're being um I don't know, like you're 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 just be careful. throwing a knife, but yeah, you you've like set yourself up and you're you're doing it in a it's sneaky because you're throwing at it from behind, right? You're you're oh, like sure. at a higher ground and he doesn't know you're attacking him anymore and you Roll one of your daggers at him. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll roll his quick to see if he can like realize in time to throw himself uh, aside, which he almost certainly can't. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I don't have anything. Uh, oh, I have. I have. Boy. I have two. I have two close for comfort that I can still use. So I'm going to reduce the damage a little. 
So okay. I, I take take a, a one. Now he's already got his one stress box marked. So I'll take his two stress box. And he, yeah, like it, it it's too close for comfort. You throw it. And he just barely moves out of the way. Then I cuts his uh, cuts across his neck, and he like ah grabs it and looks up at you. And you've cut one of his many ornamental belts. And so the sure. front part, front part of his armor, kind of like drift like drifts forward. And he's like, God damn it! And, like pushes it back up. <laughs> My breastplate is falling off. Right. Um, as you go like zoom, go winging by. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm like dizzy at this point yeah. for sure. <laughs> yep. Uh, cool. All right. So that was you. Um. Rex, why don't we start with you? Rex, uh, Basil, and Luna all need to go, so I don't. It doesn't matter to me what order you do it in. <laughs> so the door opens, and he. I think he's turned to look at Artemis as Artemis goes by, and then he sees you, Rex. Um, is Basil next to the jukebox? Still? It's the jukebox is tipped over, but yes, Basil's standing near it, holding up okay. like a shield, holding up. Can a, we um, can we assume the jukebox is close to the door? No, the jukebox is in the middle of the room. Uh, which you are the sort of farthest from again. Okay, we'll I want to. I want to walk to the jukebox and pick it up, prop it up, right? Okay, so you're gonna just use your action to like. What, do you, know, you want to create an, uh, an advantage or discover an aspect or something? No, Rex. He just walks through the commotion and stands the jukebox upright, and uh, the lights are flickering, but it's still working. Sure, and. Uh, he grabs the nearest record, and it's okay. <laughs> it's Bomber by Ace of Spades, and he just okay. puts it on. Excellent, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> yeah, and it it kicks up, and he turns and he just looks at the Emperor, and okay. he's got a wicked grin on his face. So you you put on you put on the 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 Ace of Spades single, and we hear we hear Lemmy's voice start to play. And he, <laughs> he like the, he just watches you. Everybody like watches you walk up. Um, I mean, I think I think this is I think this is a, you're creating an aspect. You're taking an action that's not direct attack, but I think you're setting the stage for like mm. the next action. So, yeah, um, let's have you roll roll flashy because you're just striding up and being like, okay. yo, yeah, <laughs> here's, here's the shit. Do it. So zero you're your, your flashy okay zero is not gonna cut it a two will but do you want to spend a, a point uh because otherwise you'll do it but it just it just gets sets him off like i'll get to use the aspect yeah i just don't really have any aspects i can yeah. use i don't think um okay. i mean <clears throat> let's let's do i'm gonna call upon anything for love and rex Loves a good fight. <laughs> okay, and, nice. And th he really wants to set the scene for this one. So uh, I think a, a theme tune to their their dance of battle will, will be right up his alley. <laughs> the, the lyrics. He, that's to, his focus right now. The lyrics to Ace of Spades are so corny. I love it. I know. Um, that's great. Okay, let's let's call this. God, there's so many good ones. Like "Born to Lose," that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Like literally, every line is perfect. Yeah. Um, Dead man's hand. Dead man's hand is perfect. Because <laughs> the I, okay, good, nice. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so let me let me add it here. This is one for you. Uh, dead man's hand, and <laughs> you uh, you have a uh, you have a use of it, and he, he just looks at you. And he looks at the record spinning. And we we hear Lemmy and we hear Motorhead playing. And he look he, he sneers at you and he says, um, "Huh, nice choice. Good music to die to." <laughs> like brings the sword up. Perfect. That's it. That's my time. <laughs> okay. Great. Um. So Luna, what are you gonna do? Uh. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to make a sort of gas. Like a, um, not like laughing gas, but one that will send them to, into almost like this uh, I thought, hypnosis. So when, you, when you said that, I thought you said a kind of guess. But of course you said a kind of gas, because why wouldn't you? That's much more appropriate. What was I thinking? <laughs> a, a concoction. Uh -huh. And I want this concoction to uh, 
sort of send them into like this this uh, hypnotic state that'll be tied to this this photo. Okay. Um, Emotional so, hypno gas. Yeah. Okay. And basically, well, I don't know if I should reveal why. Yeah. You don't have to reveal why. Okay. All right. So you're gonna you want to create an uh, an aspect uh, that's like, yeah, basically just like gas that will put someone into a state of deep nostalgia. Think of like the scarecrow in the Batman nostalgia movie. Gas. Whenever he he puts on the mask and gets the the powder, yeah, but not in their but face. not but not for fear, right? Like, no, not for fear. It's gonna well, um, kind of not exactly like him, but uh, kind of like I want to be able to use the photo against him and have him enter like sure. Paranoia. Fear fear is not yeah, but fear and paranoia like you don't get the impression that this photo is negative. He's not keeping it around because it makes him feel bad. Like the photo is of a good memory. I want to try and use, though, uh, Thuja against him. Like, he'll never be as good as her. Uh, Leviathan, you mean? Or Le- well, Leviathan as well. What? Why was Thuja on this ship? Was she just chilling? You don't know. You didn't even oh, see her. I didn't see her, you're right. She had a conversation with Rex that we didn't get to see, and then she left. Mm. <laughs> Nostalgic asses. Are they, they keep selling copies of Skyrim. Nice. Burnt. Um... <laughs> Exactly. So, <laughs> so make a uh, yeah. Maybe yeah, I mean, deal. it'll just be a hypnosis gas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some kind of yeah. like therapy yeah. gas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make a uh, make a clever roll. Uh, okay. You're doing this in a totally non lab environment, uh-huh. but you're you. Um, I'm gonna call it difficulty four. Okay. And oh, I nearly. Do I get I a plus like... two? With my uh, let me. Was it read your stun? Uh, get a plus two and cleverly creating an advantage that involves concoctions. Of course, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Sick, yeah. nicely done. All yeah. right, hypno gas. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. There you go. Okay, so you have you yeah. have hypno gas and you have one for use of it. Um, okay, all right. So uh, that is uh, that's Luna. That's Rex. Uh, Basil, what are you doing? Uh, I. Am I still wrapped in a tender moment with him, or has he moved on? <laughs> um, I mean, I think he's ready to fight. I, he's ready to fight Rex, and it wasn't so much a tender moment as as like you saw a moment of weakness in his in his eyes. Um, so yeah, he's still like he's not really paying attention. To you. Rex has got his attention. Artemis is like crouched up on this rotating wheel, getting ready to to I don't know sneak off something. or leap down. <laughs> I um. Shit. I look at the record that was in my hand and see how much he loved it. And mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I put it, I put it down. I don't, I don't break it. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I go back and find another one to break. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Um, so I think at this, like at this point, the breaking of the records probably isn't affecting him as much. Um, so it, it, if you want to do it just for you, um, I think it's a, a an attack event uh, venue. Mm, hmm. How do I break the entire archive? <laughs> um, that's a Quinn question. Sleep. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's a, that's, a, that's your other character. <laughs> yeah. How do I destroy everything? You become an enormous lizard. Uh, you'd have to destroy part of the ship or something, or have like have some kind of massive explosives. You have a fusion reactor inside you that if you overloaded it, it could definitely blow up all this stuff, but that would also blow up like most of you. You could survive if you could like get someone to like or hard drive, but yeah, your fusion reactor is the only thing inside of you that's the biggest, big enough explosive to destroy the room. But don't they have like weapons on this ship? Yeah, you know not what? In, not in the room. Can I leave the room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, Basil takes the Lionel Richie record and walks out of the room. And, uh, I would like to head to the, uh, over the overcompensator. Right. Sure. Of course. The, the yeah. chief, chief weapon of the ah, ship. chief weapon on the ship, the overcompensator. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like the idea that I totally ruined your moment and you just like rolled your eyes and walked out. Yeah. yeah. So he just yeah, I, had, I had something going on and you yeah. just. Goofed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it'll take you. It'll take you like all of this turn to get there, but you can. Get That's there where I'm headed to the overcompensator. Okay. So you pick it up, and and uh, Emperor Darkthrone says goodbye to hello, and you leave the room, and uh, and we'll see what happens in the in the overcompensator firing chamber uh, when we get back. 
Um, in the meantime, in the meantime, it is Emperor Darkthrone's turn, and he turns to you, Rex, and uh, and he says, "I bet you thought you defeated me, didn't you, old man?" And like clutches his sword. You can see his like mechanical monster hand. And he says, "But no, you've only made me stronger, more thirsty for your blood." Now, and he looks at his sword and he says, Penelope and I, we will destroy you. And he holds her over his head and he's like, Penelope, to victory! And like, whoosh, whoosh, swings the sword down at you. And uh, let's see how it does. How do you defend yourself? What do you do? Uh, uh, this terrible sword bearing down on you. I grab the uh, small black coffee table next to the jukebox and hold it up over my head like a shield. Yeah, a piece of furniture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So uh, quickly then to try to get get the the equipment, like grab something and pull it in the way. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Wait, you wrote a five? I got a five. Yeah, unforceful. God damn. Okay. Oof. Okay, you Yikes. got one. Now you've got Dead Man's Hand available to you to bring that up to a three. Yeah, uh, let's do that, and then I'll take two strain. Okay. Um, I am going to, cause I don't know how long he's going to last. I'm actually going to use the, the free shot I got on where we're going. We don't need organs that you've had. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think you reach for it and some part of the inside of you is a little twisted I around. I thought that ran out after last session. Have you, you had that, that was... for two? Did you have that last session and the session before it? No, but you said it was just for the session. I got rid of that one. You had, you had three at the beginning of this session oh, okay. and I got rid of one of them. Yeah. Okay. So this one will go, this one goes away, uh, end of session. So get rid of this. This, it goes away at the end of the session. <laughs> so that's my, that's my three and my one then. Um, so he's hitting you you're, for, I've got seven on four. mine. Yeah. yeah. I've hit you for four. So you can't do stress and, uh, stress. It has to be stress and consequence. So okay. you can do, you can do your level two consequence. Uh, but right, if you do, later. I come in here looking f forward to a nice fight and you drop everything you have on the first hit. <laughs> wow. I should have just stepped to the side and let you hit the deep. <laughs> ruined the mood. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you spend your if you spend your point and you use dead man's hand, that gives you five. Uh, no, I'm not going to spend the have... point. I'm just going to take four. OK, so let me look at your. So I'll take two stress and a mild consequence, right? The problem is you already have your other two consequences filled. So if you take that other consequence, you're knocked out. Well, the mild ended last session. So I, yes, I have it's, mild. It is free, but but fill, if you have all three of your consequences filled, um, then you're... Well, even if you have empty stress boxes? Uh, let me double check because it never it never goes that way. Let I'm, me double I'm, check. I'm going to go unconscious regardless then. Um, okay. You suffer stress for consequences. You stay in the fight. Um what is stress uh here we go um if you're unable to absorb a hit oh no so you are you are okay you can you can take this consequence and keep your stress it just means that you uh you can probably take one more hit after that okay which is fine uh okay is it is it fine adam we'll see i think <laughs> you've so, ruined what would have been a beautiful clash between men a man and a teenage boy um so okay so this one um, what do you want to call it? What do you want to call this? Uh, pain in my neck. Okay. All right. So he, he, he cuts right through, like bashes right through the furniture and then crashes into, uh, crashes into you. You hear something break or, or make a noise that you don't like. I think like he, much. he hits the, the newly sealed wound. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, some blood pouring down your thing. And he, he pulls the sword back and looks at you. Uh, and he, uh, he says, you know what's wrong with you, Rex? You don't know when to die. Ugh, let me show you. And he's, like, getting ready to take another swing. But Artemis, okay. it's, your, it's your turn. Um... I want to try to just drop on him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Just like throw yourself. <laughs> Spider yeah. monkey. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, just leap down. I want to try to just like leap on him and, and take him down. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and roll. Uh, what I should I roll for that? That's a great question. Um, I think. Sneaky? <laughs> yeah, because you're leaping onto his back like a tiny, horrible. 
<laughs> spider. Yeah, do it. Sneaky's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. And he'll roll quick because he's just like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> the golden shadow strikes from above. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so what's great here is that he only has one box left to fill. Uh, so Rex is still not going to get his big fight. <laughs> no, Sam, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm please. like, Rex, I'll save you. <laughs> like, yeah, you just, just drop knocked. on him and knock him out. Like he's just done. <laughs> like a tiny golden spider monkey. Yep, just <laughs> jump on him and just bonk and he like falls down, hits his head <laughs> on the floor and then passes out. <laughs> Rex drops to his knees like he's lost a good friend. (laughs) And he like looks at his hands and he's like, no, not like this. Uh, No, don't worry, Rex. It's fine. He's he's knocked out. You're you're okay. Rex clenches into a fist and he looks at the ceiling and he's like, forever unfulfilled. (laughs) So uh, I think, like at this point, like Artemis, you you look up, right? You're all like the fight. The fight is over. The whole thing is like this is where you know a, a pipe or something like, falls from the from above. And there's sparks and stuff. And you look up, and he's lying on his face. You're on top of him, uh, and you see standing by the door uh, a handful of like guards who have like, come in and have been watching the fight. And when you look up, uh, the first the first guard like puts his hand to his chest and like nods his head, and the rest do the same. And uh, and the, the, these these guardians are just like standing in deference to to the mighty warrior who just defeated their captain. <laughs> like I like look at Rex and I'm like, what do we do? Rex gets up and he like rolls his shoulder and he just walks towards the guards and he's like pointing. He's like, oh. you, you. <laughs> he needs somewhere to direct his rage. <laughs> yeah. Scramble up and start following him. Okay. Um. So so Rex starts walking towards them. Um. And they they look like they're like oh, waiting for orders or or something. Like if Rex starts a fight, like they'll fight back. Like jump on you or anything. Um. All into a bunch of pins. <laughs> I. I don't. I. I mean, I don't think that I would stop Rex. <laughs> Just let him go for it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, make you do something. I forgot the word. Compel me. Oh, no. you. Yeah. Okay. You. Uh. You realize what Rex is gonna do, and then, uh, based on the people kneeling earlier, you feel like you. You might have the ability to tell them to run. Okay. And yeah. what uh, what aspect are you compelling? Uh, I am compelling her uh, hopeful Mangasi urchin. Mm-hmm. She doesn't want unnecessary bloodshed. She's a hopeful person. Okay. All right. And she so what knows you... she's about to get ugly. Okay. What is, what yeah, that I, look? S- I see Rex like start walking towards them and I've seen the Rex is going to eat or kill a person walk before. Um, and yeah, I realized like, oh fuck, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like these guys might actually listen to me if I, if I try to save them. So I like run past Rex in front of him. I'm like, go get, leave, get out of here. And they, they kind of like look at each other. Like this is super unorthodox. And then he's going to kill you. Get out of here. I think you're gonna have to make a roll because oh, they're man, Agarans. You s- yeah, you wanted that really badly. They're Agarans. Yeah, it'd have so, been like I command you to flee. Like, well, the thing with the thing with Agarans too is that they like an Agaran commander telling you to run, like surrender, flee. None of those are words they have in their language. So, like, this is very strange for them. Yes. Um, okay, make a make a force yeah. roll. Let's say difficulty uh, three. Oh shit! Nope. That is a minus one. That is not enough. Yes. Um, so they they hesitate. You'll you'll get to keep your fate point because that you did the thing, but you you just failed at it. So you're like, go! What are you waiting? Just get. They're like they're like fucking throwing. You're like throwing a stick at a dog. You want to like? You're free. Go. And they're just like, <laughs> what? What is surrender? What? 
And then they see Rex. Uh, and Rex, do you just like shove Artemis out of the way, or? I think I just walk past. I don't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then you just dive in and start. Punching. Yeah, I want to just walk past and just throw a punch at the closest okay. one. All right. So Ryan we know knows. a fight, like a fight, breaks out uh, between Rex and this entire group of uh, of guards. Um, but before any of that starts getting getting resolved, let's let's cut over to uh, to Luna. So Luna, you we, we get that like scientist thing of you you know, you've a like boop, like drop something into a thing and pff, gas comes out. It's like I totally top. MacGyvered this this put yeah. this this the uh, now I have like this flask and I put a cork in it and I'm going to go to the ventilation system on the ship. Okay, all right, sure. Uh, the the try. ship does. Yeah, the ship has an entire. It has like a section where all the fog machines are because mm-hmm. this the the ship has to be full of like cool fog all the time. So and dramatic yeah. entrances. So you know. So you're gonna run to the the fog generator. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that'll take this turn. So that's fine. Okay. Um, Basil, uh, you arrive at uh, the the mighty main cannon. Um, and so you walk in, and no one in this room. There's about a dozen people in this room. I'll have their like big VR goggle, whatever's on, and they're operating the the lesser guns that are finishing off. And we, we cut out to the ship, and literally of the ship pummeling these planets. One of them is all cracked, and we see little termite, dead termites floating in space. Um, another one is just burning and kind of spinning off in another direction. And the outer sphere of Xanadu is like cracking and, and being broken. Um, but there is a seat in the center, uh, this big kind of raised uh, seat uh, that is empty. Because no one is, no one is only the only Emperor Dark Throne has the authorization to man the overcompensator. Yeah, Basil just walks up to it and sits down. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I don't think anyone notices you. You walk up, you sit down. It's got kind of like a metal part that comes down, uh, like between your legs and like over your stomach, and then like two more arms come down and like hold a big visor goes over your face and you can see all of a sudden uh overlaid the with the red agar and text the kind of terminator vision but of, of space around you and we see the ship and from its uh, underside this enormous like oversized ridiculous cannon starts emerging uh i charge it to full power okay you begin charging the overcompensator um are you targeting anything in particular yet or are you just are we just charging it just up? charging it to full power Okay, so it starts to hum, and it's a satisfying like feel it in your in your synthetic carbon fiber bones kind of hum like this, and you've you've felt this this sense of anticipation before this feeling of like oh I am about to cause some very serious damage, yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, so you can see the meter charging. Okay, all right, so you're gonna charge it up uh, next turn. You'll be able to target it and fire it, um, and uh, Luna's gone. So Artemis. And Rex, uh, Rex, why don't you why don't you dive in against this this crowd? Yeah, punch a thing. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in Sam is real life, Rex. <laughs> two sessions. <laughs> yeah, punching. I rolled a one. Okay. <laughs> okay. What would you like to do? <laughs> I'm in. I mean, yeah, you don't have any. You don't he need blo- points. He blocks my punch. <laughs> so here's the thing: you wade in and immediately just start getting like, like cudgeled and I punched. Think, I think like Artemis actually worked against me, and they're they're anticipating my attack at this point, and then I yeah. just dive in. Yeah, yeah. And so we just see them just knocking you aside. Uh, I get a uh, I get a boost against you. Um, in over my head. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and there's just like a dozen of these g- these goons are just pummeling you. So let me let me roll for them. Uh, and how are you defending yourself? Just <laughs> just taking it. Yeah, just taking it. Okay. Kind of just trying to muscle through it, I guess. Okay. So roll roll forceful. Um. And I will see. <laughs> I don't even have to spend anything. You just get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to use, I'll use over my head because uh, I have it to bring me to three, which is a difference of four. 
which is too much for you to do with the stress that you have. And Artemis, you just see Rex wa- wade into this crowd, and then there's just like cudgels flying, and we don't even see Rex, right? We see Rex like in the crowd fighting. Like you knocked a guy, you punch a guy in the face, and like bite one of them. And you're, you're fighting your way down, but eventually they overpower you. You get dragged down, and we see the crowd part, and you see Rex like hanging from his arms, like they're holding him, looking kind of Jesus like, his clothes torn, blood dripping from him, <laughs> unconscious. And they hold him up. And one of the guards, the guard that like de- dealt the the knocking out blow, um, the guard looks up at you, and reaches up and pulls off her mask, <laughs> and you see Leviatha staring what a bitch. <laughs> she's giving you a look like, is this enough? Do you love me now? See what I have done for you. Uh, and uh, and I think that's where that's where we'll end, we'll end <laughs> <God>. today's episode. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yep, good stuff, everybody. Um, <laughs> the this this the saga and family drama and watching Rex get knocked out every episode. Uh, so this episode, Rex, you both of your level two and four traumas go away dude i love so how like fun not a single player has rolled well in two I know, y- yeah y'all are getting i literally rolled four on. minuses on that last roll no this the sad part is that i mean the sad part for me is that i rolled the best i've rolled in a long time mm-hmm. i had You're like like three or four fives that i rolled today and it was not enough because that dude just had such good forceful rolls yeah but they will <sighs> all they will all remember and low and lo, did the golden comet descend from above to smash down upon our enemies? Uh, we'll deal with all that fallout next <laughs> time. Let's do some shout outs. Um, Pocket, why don't you start us off? <sighs> I did a lot of helping in the fights today. Uh, my name is Pocket, twitch.tv slash Pocket. And I stream every day about Monday where I'm doing Neb Jazz and watching lots of TV. So you can follow me there. And yeah, I hope I can... I hope I can pull off what I want to pull off just because (laughs) I really want to. So Mm. hopefully I can roll. (laughs) I believe in you. Well, actually I don't. If it comes down to rolling, I don't. Mm. Wait, Mm. I've been doing mediocre on the rolls. So like I got a great disguise. I've just been avoiding rolling though. That's true. (laughs) true. Bad rolls. So we'll, we'll, uh, our, our robot with feelings. Uh, Jess Cox, why don't you you shout out for me? Hi, everyone. Uh, As always, thrilled to do this. I have a lot of fun watching, even if we fail, watching uh, everyone sort of work their way through uh, Adam's terrible, terrible traps that he sets for us in every episode. And uh, hopefully, all of you had a great time watching. All my stuff's on the screen. Thank you so much. And uh, I actually have a real stream schedule now, which is crazy. So, like, I saw that. I know. Stream a lot. Great. I know. So, like, jump on that bandwagon and still uploading the same stuff onto the channel, on the YouTube channel. So, like, double duty to please that booty. See you guys next week. <laughs> Thank you. Book. Thank you so much for that. That was, that was beautiful. <laughs> Sam? Hi, guys. I'm stripping. Twitch.tv forward slash stripping. Uh, I, I'm sad because I feel like Rex's badass days are behind him. I think the last four times I've tried to be a badass, I got knocked the fuck out. So... <laughs> You yeah. chopped off a dude's arm. I'm going to have to think of that some real great. good stunts that are going to help me beat people up because uh, that's what I'm missing. So <laughs> thank you for having me as always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And last but not least, Artemis Dodger. Take yes. it away. Hello. Uh, hi, guys. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. Uh, I stream a lot. And I have a coffee company that you can find at dodgercoffeeco.com. And I always ruin all of Sam's plans every game. So tune in for more of that (laughs) next time. I mean, you probably saved me because I think he would have just knocked me the fuck out in his next turn. So (laughs) now I get to look like I would have won even if I didn't. Right. Yeah. 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 It's all intentional. It's great. It's good. (laughs) It's all right. Fantastic. Cool. Well, this was uh, season two, episode number 10 of Roleplay Nebula Jazz. We're going to go and record the 
Patreon post show. Um, I just posted the community Q and A. So if you have questions or want to give the cast feedback on today's episode, you can find that at community.itmejp.com. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Adam Coble or skinny ghost on Twitter or right here. GMing this business or Court of Swords. Now, Court of Swords this week, if you're watching the show, uh, normally it would be tomorrow, but we're doing it uh, Saturday this week because uh, the big boss is buying a new headquarters. So they're going to be they're going to be taking it on Saturday instead. But if you're hankering for some Court of Swords, come visit my Twitch channel at the usual time, uh, three o'clock Pacific. I'm going to be doing some GM prep for Court of Swords because we've got the big live live show coming up. So lots of stuff to watch. Throw some follows around, and we will see you. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. We're out. Goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.